Today is a happy and sad day. Our friends Exi and Michelle from Wild Child are actually taking off. So they're going on their world tour. So super happy for them. It's going to be a fun adventure, but we're going to miss them. Awesome friends that we've met along the way. Hi. Hi, camera. <laughs> So we made it to the Welland Canal here, the entrance of it anyway, here at Port Colborne. Uh, unfortunately we have about a two hour wait, well it's 10 o'clock now so we gotta wait till 12 o'clock before we can go through. We're gonna be rafting up or going alongside another power boat and it should be a pretty nice day. We got some beautiful weather, at least so far, it hasn't started raining on us this morning so it should be a fun time. Woo! Luck number eight! The first of many. How do you feel, Michelle? Oh, I feel great. It's a work in progress, but now we're going. I'm just waiting to see the green light so we know we have clearance. Woo! Fabulous. Excited yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only five so. years ago, this was a passion, and now it's a dream. That's right. Because we gave them a clip. They get they bought. Yeah, it does. But we did it before, so we're safe. <laughs> yeah. So fast. <laughs> and uh, they bought the. Woo! We're uh, clear. Yeah. We got the uh, moose head. In the bottle of Ah, that's awesome! From Coach First Jerome. bridge done, guys! There you go! Woo! We were starting our 43 kilometer journey through a key section of the St. Lawrence Seaway and the Great Lakes Waterway, which would drop us down to 326 feet so that we could reach Lake Ontario. It only cost about 200 Canadian dollars to do the total eight blocks. Go through the locks! Port Robinson, there was a small pontoon passenger boat to cross the canal. We are waiting for lock number seven to open. So we've got about a 45 minutes wait. There's a big ship going down right now. And today we're traveling with a, another powerboat. So the two of us are just kind of tied up to the side here and waiting. It's really, really warm. When you've got the wind and motoring, it's kind of nice. But now I'm just like, oh, beautiful day.
So we're here in between locks six and seven. Uh, we just finished lock seven. It was really cool because it was the first lock where we dropped a bunch of height. I think. There you go. So 45 feet of drop, and it happens relatively quickly. You can kind of see the water just do this. Relative. I mean, it seems slow, but for the amount of volume, the amount of water inside that lock, for it to be draining that fast, it's it's pretty fast. So uh, it was really cool, actually. Is the walls? You know, you start it. You know, just a few feet off of the side of the locks and you drop 45 feet so it's uh kind of neat you just big walls like kind of like lord of the rings or something and, and um and then you look behind you and you got the wall holding all that water back and it's just gushing water in through the, all the little cracks and then uh finally once you get down to the bottom the door opens in front of you and you're at the same height as all the rest of the water so it's kind of neat down through the canal system is supposedly much easier than going up. We experience pretty easy times just holding on to the ropes and keeping the boat away from the, the side of the canal. It's really hard to capture, but being inside the locks at night was almost eerie as you would be dropped down away from the light, everything was dark and you weren't too sure where you were going, but eventually the big lock doors would open up and you'd be free again. So we just finished leaving lock two. If you can see behind me, we have some more red lights to pass. Our final lock, lock one, is just ahead of us. And we've got about maybe two nautical miles left, so we're almost done the journey from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. Super exciting. It was really cool, and uh, we had beautiful weather for it, so it's been awesome. And of course, wonderful group of people to actually do it with, so it's been nice. After starting around 12 o'clock, we finished, it was past 11, so that was a full day of good chatting and holding on to ropes going down the canal. We left our friends Lexi and Michelle from Wild Child tied to the dock at the end of the Welland Canal where they would start their journey. I'm so excited! So today we cleaned the boat. We've been cleaning a couple sailboats, power boats, to get a bit of extra cash. And we got tons of extra food with it. The, girl, the lady works at the by an organic farm, so she gets a bunch of different... Look at that tomato there. They're beautiful and tons of cucumbers. That's your making good looking. Hey, hey. Um, using some of the beans that we've been getting from everyone. Got some green beans from Corrine and some delicious purple ones from Krista. So we're gonna be making some tornadoes with some uh, roasted veggies. I've got kale chips in the oven. Then we also received a lot of kale like we showed you. and. Maybe a little quinoa. Hmm. Yeah. What's this thing we make all the noise back here? What do we got in here? That's the kale chips. 
Let's see. It's super beneficial to have some friends that can take you out on their boats so you get to experience a variety of different styles. Thanks for taking us for a ride, Tom, in your sailboat. Every boat is very different. The rigging is different, the layout is different, even the way the, the boat steers can sometimes be very different, from very responsive to not so responsive. Sometimes the weather is really crazy. We were outside in the tent of our dock, enjoying a nice supper, glass of wine, cheers. And then there was those clouds in the distance, like, ah, it's a while. And I was just like, came in, super windy and pouring rain. Look at me, I'm soaked. So we were chasing after the dogs of our friends, trying to put them in the boat, running after cans that were flying all over the place and closing everything up in the boat so that we don't get too too soaked. But the good thing about this is that we're actually doing some editing so you guys might be seeing some videos. Woo! Editing station 2.0. We got our nav station turned into our editing station. It's a little tight in here but it works. You're kind of in your little nook. Your little coding or uh, editing nook. It's perfect. And their boat's actually starting to move a bit more, it's really windy. <laughs> See ya!